My name is Jeff McInnes. This is Stiltsville Fish Bar. Been a chef for, gosh, since I was 15 years old. Where I was born and raised, it was a real small fishing town in the North Panhandle of Florida. And we had a lot of fish houses. Here we only do uh, local seafood. We try to keep it real local, real fresh. Oysters, stone crabs, fish, depending on what the fishermen bring, so we get to rotate the menu a lot. You know, having this restaurant means a lot because I grew up in Florida. Being able to be right here on the water and do a fish house concept is really something special to me. I kind of fell into cooking by accident. I was uh, cooking in the Panhandle of Florida at a little tiny restaurant, and um, I was washing dishes, actually. I wasn't cooking. And I remember a sous chef was cutting the fish. The chef was gone that day, and he had cut his hand pretty bad, so there was nobody to cut the fish. I kind of jumped in, got to work out the fish and cut it, and I was like the hero of the day. So that was, uh, that was a big memory for me. I remember the guys telling the chef when he came back, like, hey, he cut all the fish, we were able to open, and weeks later and the days later, being able to be trained on the stations and cook a lot, and it's a lot of fun. I guess that was, that was my first end to the industry. Let's head back to the kitchen. So I'm gonna do a version of a lobster and grits with this little fish here. So these are some stone ground grits that we get from Alabama. So there's still a lot of Southern influence in this restaurant. There's some andouille. So we're just gonna finish off. This was a little bit of demi and beer. And this is a little bit of lobster. This was a dish that I would definitely grow up doing something like this, eating something like this. Since I brought this back also, I might just drop him in and do him whole and uh, nice and crispy. I think that's always the best when you can cook a fish with the bones on it. It's always got the best flavor. So this is like a version of a salsa verde that we have. This was about a three and a half pound fish. About a pound per person is good, so this could feed two or three or four people, depending on how hungry you are. And this is really interesting. This is like a lemon powder, so we dehydrate lemons and limes and bay leaves, and then we kind of salt and season him. All right. This is a homemade hot sauce that we use here at Stiltsville. This is definitely one of our favorite fish.